This is Dave Daly with KaiserTV.com. We're here today at the Kaiser Heritage Center. I have with me here Linda Baker of our Kaiser Homegrown Theater. And everybody behind us is their new house here in the Kaiser Heritage Center. So exciting day yes. during their open house. Uh, Linda, share with the audiences uh, how this came to be and how exciting it is. It's, it's really just serendipitous actually and it comes from being here and loving Kaiser and wandering from pillar to post and standing around and saying please doesn't somebody want to let us come home mm -hmm. and uh, about a month ago uh, Kathy Clark uh, called me and asked us if we would be interested in partnering at the Heritage Center uh, in the event space um, when Things changed a little bit, and they weren't renting it. They uh, through the Heritage Center. It, it wasn't becoming. It, it was more difficult, more trouble than it was worth in a lot of ways. So they wanted to find a, a more stable uh, space. I mean, a more stable stream of revenue for us. And also, Kathy was really interested in creating sort of a cultural center here in Kaiser. So well, we came home. Well, it's been weeks, everybody, and we're standing on risers for theater uh, viewers to sit in these uh, risers that are gonna rise down behind us is the performance area. There, air, There's lights that have been installed. Uh, your organization is a force to reckon with, and I'm sure there's lots of partners we want to say thank you to. Uh, around this table, your board of directors, who, when this concept came as an idea, you've really run with it. It's exciting. We have. We have. Uh, well, and Kaiser, their whole thing is what took you so long. They've <laughs> always been there for us. So we've made a call out um, one day after the tree planting. This is what Kaiser does. After the tree planting out at the park, uh, most of McNary's softball team came over here and hauled all the wood that we needed wow. to build these risers upstairs. And so, I mean, that's, that's what the community did. And then we've had people, uh, volunteers have been here about four or five hours a day putting all of this in and walking around in the rafters and putting in the light bars and figuring out where all the, all the electricity goes. <laughs> and... Um, it's, it's just been an adventure, but you know, when you can't wait to put something up, you hit the ground running. It's true, and check out the URL on screen, everybody. If you wanna make a donation, uh, both of your time, uh, if you're a company that has something that they can use and you wanna give that forward, please connect here with Linda. Um, I'm sure they'll put it to good use, but this building has taught people to read, taught people math. This is an old schoolhouse that was uh, meaningful to so many people in this region and now it's being repurposed in 2018 At as a full-time epicenter. Uh, well, I know that one person on my board, Sam Ghosh, went to school here. Mm. Lyndon Zeitz, who has been who is the head of one of has been the head of the Heritage Center, mm -hmm. went to school here. So they're very excited to be yeah. here. And now we're turning it into another kind of education center. So it essentially will become an arts hub for the community uh, for the city of Kaiser. Well you have been a uh, artist on the road. You perform at our Kaiser Rapids Amphitheater, uh, at our Croc Center in the area, but now to be able to call a place home. Uh, what does that mean to you and your artists? Uh, well, look at our name, Kaiser Homegrown Theater. Yeah. It's so exciting to be here. We had auditions here for our season. We have been in rehearsal here for this play. It's such a relief to know where we're going to be from day to day. And to have the community in this building that allows us, well, thank you, sirs, and okay. who brings us flowers. <laughs> You gotta love it. That's yeah, what this community is about. You gotta love it, but but allows us to to you know spread out. We're not only in this building, but if we need rehearsal space or or table reading space, the art association has made their their place available to us. The library is available to us. It's, wow! And we're reciprocating by making things available to them. Well, synergies are gonna just be happening in strong force. But Linda, just want to thank you and championing the arts and connecting our community. Um, there's a fabric woven from the viewers who watch their plays to the participants, the cast. It's such a tight-knit family here. It is. And it started uh, with your love of uh, arts in this community, so we want to say thank you to you. Everyone comment below how Linda's touched your life in the arts here in Kaiser. 
I just want to say thank you for me okay, personally. Now you're make me cry. And I know there's more great stories, many memories that are going to be made in this building, uh, captivating uh, performances. So thank you very much. Thank you so much for being here and, and um, telling people about us. And you know, we have a season that starts in March, so please come see us. Yes, actually, look at the screen now. This is the first performance happening now. On their website, you can get tickets. And the, the performance, uh, there'll be one in May during the Iris Festival. So just get connected. There's only 65 seats. There's a big sign down here in front that says, once these 65 tickets are gone, uh, it's, they're not going to be more. So get your purchases done early. So uh, Buy again, season tickets. Yes, season tickets. What a concept. Thank you very much. Thank you. For sharing with us, Linda. And for more great stories here in Kaiser, visit kaisertv.com. Thank you.